What's going on everyone, it's Neo Velocity back with an Operation 3 Metal Guide. After seeing a lot of the viewers enjoy my previous uploads about unlocking the Hangtime Execution, I wanted to put together another video for unlocking the Armed and Dangerous Execution in Operation 3. If you're interested in more guides like this before going too far deep, be sure to check the link in the top right corner of the screen. This link will have multiple metal guides inside the playlist. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Armed and Dangerous Execution as an Operation 3 reward. Also, if you love Gears of War content, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification for when new videos get posted to the channel. As for unlocking the Armed and Dangerous Execution, there are six unique medals you'll need to unlock before obtaining the skin. Team Medic, revive 150 teammates. Executioner, perform 150 executions. Finish them, kill 5,000 enemies. Marksman, get 750 headshot kills. Body Count, get 12,000 elimination. Carnage, do 15 million damage. Starting in that order, the Team Medic is the first medal needed. To unlock the Team Medic medal, there's a variety of ways to unlock this by naturally playing. However, there are multiple ways to unlock this metal quickly. I have found that playing Horde or Escape is ideal. However, for this video, I'm showing you a fun way of getting revives by having your friends get crushed by the closing doors while wrapping up a hive and escape. Simply let your teammate get down by the door and spam the revive button. You should be able to get roughly 9 to 10 revives before the door closes. However, you can also play as Jack and Horde on advanced or higher difficulty and earn tons of revives just by simply playing. The second metal, Executioner. We're requires you to perform 150 executions. Personally, I found this to be extremely fast but slightly annoying. Load up a horde private match on your favorite map. Set the difficulty to beginner. Start on wave 3 or wave 11. Play as Kate or Mac as they both spawn with a retro lancer. I prefer Kate as she has the ability to cloak and allow you to execute enemies just by walking up to them with her cloak ability. Executions count with the retro lancer charge. Just charge into every enemy you see. After playing for a while, you'll have the 150 executions. The third medal, Finish Them, actually ties in with the fifth medal, Body Count. I'll be combining both of these medals into one. For the Finish Them medal, you'll need to kill 5,000 enemies and for the body count medal, you'll need 12,000 eliminations. Remember, a kill and elimination are not the same thing. However, for this video, they will count together as you'll kill all the enemies. To earn these medals, load up a private escape match on beginner difficulty. Select the hive, the detour. You're able to play as a few different characters. However, I selected Lizzie due to her silverback. If you don't have Lizzie unlocked, this can be done as Lonnie, Emil, Cole, or Grace. If you're interested in finishing the finish them and body count medals without Lizzie, I have a video in the top right corner of the screen that you can select to get somewhere between 300 to 400 eliminations. Regardless of which hero you play, be sure that Juvie spawn. There is a possibility that leeches could spawn. If they do, simply restart until you see Juvies. Once you get the Juvie spawn, you'll be forced to fight your way through a decent number of enemies. From the potted area, go out the door and to the right. You can enter the supply room to gather ammo and eliminate all the enemies. Keep pushing forward. As you progress, you'll have a great amount of Juvie spawn and come towards you. A pro tip, if you have a Keegan playing with you, have them mark the enemies for you to help gather both your and Keegan's ultimate ability faster. Keep pushing in a straight line. Eventually, you'll be forced to go straight or enter the safe room. Keep moving forward. Again, you'll be forced to go into a supplier rooms or move forward. Keep eliminating the juvies and press forward. At this point, you'll begin to see Scion spawning. Be sure to kill them quickly. Once you kill the Scion, go into the next area by going left. You'll be greeted by juvies, grenadiers, poppers, and another Scion. Jump over the cover and go to the left. At this part, you have gotten to the part of the map that is the most fun and where the bulk of your kills and eliminations will begin to happen. With Lizzie, deploy the Silverback and alternate between the Salvo and the Mulcher. I equip the Salvo and Bleeding Mulcher cards on Lizzie to extend the duration of the Silverback and to also have the bleeding damage with the Mulcher. Move forward and you'll see the enemies constantly spawning. This is where you'll farm your kills. Pro tip, be sure to complete the Hive, otherwise your progress will not count. The fourth medal, Marksman, you'll need to obtain 750 headshot kills. For this, I started a private horde match on beginner difficulty with Foz. Start on wave three or wave 11. Foz is great for farming headshots shots due to his ability to have increased damage. Simply aim for the head, grab ammo crates as needed, and you'll earn this medal in no time. The sixth medal is Carnage. You'll need to do 15 million damage. This medal will come naturally just by playing. However, leave this medal for the last. 
Once you finish the previous medals and still need additional damage, load up a private horde match on beginner difficulty. Start on wave 20. Choose your favorite character. However, I chose Kate due to her ability to use overkills and the Nasher with a strong bleed damage over time. Once deploying the Fabricator, I upgraded my Nasher skills for the increased damage. Eliminate the boss and all the enemies but one. At the last enemy, be sure to die and start over on wave 20. You should earn over 200,000 damage per wave. Once these medals are complete, you'll have unlocked the Armed and Dangerous Execution. Let me know what you think of the Armed and Dangerous Execution. Does it remind you of a previous execution from Gears 3? If you found this video helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification for when videos get uploaded to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.